Hey guys, welcome back to Jibber Jab Reviews. So I recently reported that rumors had started trickling out about the next version of the Galaxy Watch, and now sources have confirmed that in fact it's not a second version of this watch, but instead it will actually be a new model in the Galaxy Watch Active lineup. And this is really quite surprising given that it's only been about 5 months since the Active model was first released. Now the pictures that have just been released suggest that there's been some improvements or at least additional functionality included over the first version. For example, on one side of the watch you can see that there's two slots which would indicate that it has a built-in speaker. In other words, it means that you'll not only be able to play music from it, but you'll also be able to make calls from it and have a conversation directly from your device just like you can on the S3 and the Galaxy Watch. So that would also mean, of course, that there's a built-in microphone on the device, which means you should also have access to using voice commands for Bixby. And if you recall, the first Galaxy Watch Active was lacking this feature, so by adding it, this will definitely bring it up to par with other smartwatches in the Galaxy lineup. Now the photo for the other side of the watch shows that there's two buttons, one which is rectangular and most likely the home button, and then there's a smaller circular red button which looks quite interesting, and unfortunately there's no further information about what purpose or function this may have. Perhaps it's a special function launcher, or maybe an app selector of some sort, but it will be interesting to see if this does have a special purpose as it looks quite different from the buttons on the first Galaxy Watch Active which just has two round black buttons. Now when you flip the device over on its back, you'll notice that it has a huge heart rate monitor. And having this feature is really a no-brainer to include in any smartwatch in 2019 because it's already a standard not only for Samsung smartwatches, but in other competitor devices as well. Although, as I mentioned, this monitor is quite larger than the first generation Active Watch, so whether or not this means it will be more accurate or include additional functionality or even fitness enhancements remains to be seen. Now in terms of sizes, you'll actually be able to pick this up in either a 40 or a 44 millimeter, which is an increase over the original version at only 38 millimeters, which meant it worked well for the vast majority of female wrists out there, but it looked quite small and dainty on a man's, so it looks like Samsung wants a second generation of the active watch to appeal more to the male population, and having that larger 44 millimeter version should definitely help fill that void. And as I reported earlier, the other hardware stats appear to be consistent with 1.5 gigabytes of RAM and unfortunately only 4 gigabytes of internal storage, which again, I think is a mistake here because of the vast selection of watch faces available and the growing segment of apps. I really think 6 gigabytes should be the new standard for storage and even an 8 gigabyte option would be great, but it looks like we're going to have to settle for 4 gigabytes for now. And as I mentioned in my previous report as well, you will be able to grab these new sized models in either black, silver, or gold color schemes. Now in terms of battery size, you will see a bump here over the original Active which had a 230 milliamp battery, the new 40 millimeter version you'll see a bump to 237, and the larger 44 millimeter version will get a boost to 340. And to give you an idea of how much extra power you'll get, well, my wife has the original Galaxy Watch Active, and she only gets one day of battery life out of it. So if you do end up going with the new 44mm version, you should see an increase to about two days, or at least that's what the rumors are claiming. And of course, you are getting more battery in the larger models because of that increase in size and case size. So if you are someone that finds it annoying to recharge every day, then the 44mm version may be a good option for you. And lastly, in terms of software, the Galaxy Watch Active 2 models will come preloaded with Tizen 1 UI and a 1.05 firmware versus the 1.0 version that we have now on our devices. So you may see some additional functions or interface enhancements on this new software. We're just going to have to wait and see. Okay guys, that's the latest information on the next version of the Galaxy Watch Active. Do you think the larger size screen, battery, and built-in speaker and microphone is enough updates for you to grab this new model? Because at least for now, these added features will make it identical to the offerings of the Galaxy Watch, minus of course the bezel. So really it comes down to personal style and whether you prefer a bezel or not. 
Anyways, I'm going to keep you guys updated on further developments as I think we're going to start to hear a lot more about this watch now that these new photos have been leaked. Thanks again for watching, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Until then, take care. Thanks again for watching our review and if you liked it then show us some love with a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and share the video with your friends because with your support it really helps me keep the channel going so I can continue to offer you guys discounts, giveaways and of course fresh content. I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, take care.